open mic virgin. This is like my first time ever, so you're all to say this wait, 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 wait. monumental wait, wait, wait. event. <laughs> I haven't come before because I have a dark and evil soul. No, not really. I'm just <laughs> um, these aren't live poems, actually. They're by Anis Majgani. He's my favorite, one of my favorites. But uh, I kind of owe you guys an original, so maybe next month, you know? This, this is for the fat girls. This is for the nighttime cereal eaters and the retired elderly Walmart storefront greeters. This is for the benches and the people sitting upon them. Love that part, it's so deep. For the men who have to hold down three jobs just to hold up three children. For the nighttime schoolers and the midnight bike riders who are trying to fly. Shake the dust. Every morning in elementary school, the class would place our right hand over our chest and recite the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible, <laughs> with liberty and justice for all. And you know the part where it goes, one nation under God, indivisible? Yeah, I and probably every other kid ever always thought it was invisible. And that was like so damn freaking cool because it was like we had superpowers or something. <laughs> this is for the poetry teachers and for the people who go on vacations alone. This is for the tired and for the dreamers, for the two-year-olds who cannot be understood because they speak half English and half God. <laughs> this, is for the kid. this is for the kid who's always late to class because he forgets the combination to his lockers. Shake the dust. So one nation. Under God, invisible. <laughs> I say, I want the secrets of my country to stop being secrets and to start being the mistakes that we learn from. I want a school of thoughts built on the shoulders of giants instead of broken bones. This is for the ones the amendments do not stand up for. For the ones who are told to speak only when they are spoken to and then are never spoken to. This, this is for you. Do not let the dust collect in your veins. Do not let a moment go by that doesn't remind you that your heart beat, beat, beats 900 times a day and that there are enough gallons of blood inside of you to make you an ocean. Shake the dust. And when you do, all that pushes and pulls, pushes and pulls for you. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I used to hear that every morning, liberty and justice for all. I pledge my allegiance for the 1,680 school time mornings of my childhood. I pledge my allegiance during the best years of my life with my hand over my heart to make sure it didn't beat, beat, beat its way out of my chest in the excitement I felt thinking about recess and chocolate milk on Fridays, yo, and no homework on the weekends, which doesn't happen anymore, but that's okay. And Janine, the cute girl in the grade under me, who took the same walk home that I did. So grab this world by its clothespins and shake it out again and again, and jump, jump, jump on top and take it for a spin. And when you hop off, shake it again, because this world is yours. Make my words worth it, not just another poem that Majani writes. Walk into it. Breathe it in. Let it crash through the halls of your arms at the millions of years of millions of poets coursing like blood, pumping and pushing, making you live, shaking the dust. So when the world knocks at your front door, clutch the knob and open on up, running forward into its widespread greeting arms, fingertips trembling though they may be. One nation under God, invisible. I want my country to be what it once was. To me and a generation of first graders who misheard a word, mistaking our country for the one that had superpowers. A country that could leap buildings in a single bound, one that wasn't from here but saw something in America that was worth dying for. And I know that this nation is that heart be beating in the chest of an excited little boy trying to be patient and learn about the world and pressing his shaking hands over his chest. And I just want the breeze to flow through the open window and lift it up so that we can make good on our promises.